Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I'm doing an eyebrow tutorial today. It's a big step for me because I've never showed my non-existent eyebrows on social media before. I kind of look like Rufus from Kim Possible, but that's okay. First, you're going to need a flat edge brush. Mine looks crusty, but whatever. Next, you're gonna need a makeup wipe. I'll explain later why you need this. The most important thing, you're going to need the Anastasia Dip Brow. It saves my life. This is my religion. I would be fugly without it. Next, we're going to need a waterproof eyeliner. I use Maybelline and my color is brown. But you can use anything that works for you. Okay, don't judge me. This is really ghetto. I've had this for five years. Don't come for me because I'm still richer than you. But um, it's Kat Von D eyeshadow. And, um, so I know it looks dingy, but just wait till I open it. Um, the top kind of fell off because of how old it is, but it still works, so I'm still using it. Um, yeah, relatable, lol. Uh, yeah. So, let's get into this, guys. I'm ready. Are you ready? Yes. Let's go. First, you're going to just brush in the Anastasia towards the end and middle parts because that's when it comes on the hardest. And then you're just going to brush stroke like little hairs. Make sure you have a little ombre effect going on. Do not press very hard at the front of your brows. You can press harder towards the end of your brows because you know you want that ombre effect, like I said. And now you see my eyebrows starting to come together. Wow, magic. Look at that. I don't have any hair there, but it's going to look like it by the end of this video. Now you can start to do the top lines of your eyebrow. Make sure at the front you're pressing very lightly. You can press a little harder towards the back, but don't press super hard because then you can make your eyebrows look clumpy and you do not want a clumpy sister. Make sure that whenever you're connecting everything, you're doing the, the shape that best complements your face. Me personally, I like my tails to look a little more straight edged and almost like a diagonal line, but a lot of people will do more of a curve or arch. Just do whatever suits you best. So I'm realizing that I just fucked up. Everyone makes mistakes, so um, this is my technique. You get your tweezers, you get your makeup wipe, put your tweezers inside your makeup wipe, twist that shit around, make sure it's nice and tight in there, and now you have a little eraser. I like it because it makes it come off easier, um, and this is what I do differently from other makeup artists who usually just cover it up with more makeup, but I don't wear face makeup. And then you just outline your edges to make it look more defined. And wow, looks like no one ever made a mistake. You just fan the front of it upwards to make it look like your hair is on fleek. And now you just do everything to the other side. I started at the front because I it's easier that way to line it up so that they're actually on the same level of your face. You don't want your eyebrows in two different places. I know that they're scissors, not twins, but we try to make them look like twins as much as we can. And now we're done with the dip brow and you bring in your waterproof eyeliner. Start only at the end and halfway through the middle. You don't want it to be dark everywhere. I really just do this because my eyebrows are non-existent and you don't want them to be wiped off by anything. Also, make sure that you're going in hair strokes so that it actually looks natural versus just coloring it in. As you're outlining it, um, it's actually easier to make sure that your shape comes out the way you want it with the pencil because it's basically just like drawing it on your face. I mean, that's exactly what it is. 
But just like with your dip brow, you can come in with your magic eraser and just erase those edges. It actually smudges more with the eyeliner, so just make sure that you're being careful. And now you bring um, your eyeshadow palette in. And I find it easier applied whenever it's a little moist. Um, sorry, I said that word, it bothers me too. But what this does is it really helps it blend so much easier. Um, the eyeliner you applied is probably a lot darker than the front of your eyebrows. So the eyeshadow really just makes it look like it's, you know, a subtle blend versus a super harsh ombre. Just remember that as you're applying, you're using your darkest eyeshadow colors towards the back and your lighter colors in the middle and your brightest colors in the front. You know, like I said earlier, that ombre is super important. You just want to make sure that your lines are nice and straight because we want to look snatched, not ratch. Am I right? Whenever you're done with your eyeshadow, this is important, subtly go and make brush strokes with your eyeliner. Do not do this super hard because it will overpower the look. Just do some light little strokes. Now do everything on the other side. And now, the moment that you've all been waiting for, the final reveal. You are now done, and you have finally accomplished the most perfect flaky brows in your entire life. And everyone will bow down to you because your eyebrows are maximum god level, your royalty sweetie, your slaying. Pat yourself on the back because you've done it.